to you on this most pleasantly clear Hello, evening. Everybody. Conditions and absolutely beautiful. Perfect. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot. It can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. Got things on the way. Adams with a searching ball. Bar. Moses. Sare. Moses. Shallow. From Bai. Baro. got that completely wrong that was good defensive pressure to give him less maneuvering room boy boy drives it forward Sana. Well, it's not the quickest of starts, but what it lacks in intensity certainly is made up by a, a large serving of, of discipline and organisation. Pansil battles to win it back. Tries to locate someone up front. Shallow. Bye. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Baba to play it forward. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Bar. Zana tries to get it forward quickly. Bar. Shallow. Garner. Meant to have a shot on target. Moses. And it's played forward. Steered forward. Questions were asked. But he's given the answers. Forward it goes. Varro. Montero gets it back. And he has been fouled there. Bass brings the ball forward. 
Baba. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And the whistle goes for half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Solution for Ghana. Number 11. So off we go once more. Coming on to replace him. Ghana is can be very glad that half time came when eight. it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Varro. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Should be the keepers. Duncan goes looking. A really good feat. Well, into the second half, and it's still goalless. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. He's had a crack, it's anyone's ball. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. The well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Bar. So who's he picking out? Back in once more. Looks to bypass the midfield. Done very well to intervene. Well, it really is one cross after another. Well, with a target to hit, why not keep up the supply? It's simple and, and efficient because they all know what they're doing. Duncan. Good idea, just poorly executed. Out to the left it goes. That will annoy the manager, they're making themselves too predictable here. Duncan. Montero. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Montero is fouled. Substitution for Ghana. Number nine. Coming on the field is... Number two. It's Pencil! And in again. He has done it! Goals are welcome, but when they come at a time like that, they're priceless. Solak reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. That's just top notch. Showed exactly why he follows it up every time. Keeper struggles to hold on to it. Ball breaks kindly. 
he's always about. Well, it's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. A 1-0 lead established. Oh, this is fully deserved for me because they've shown great heart and spirit. It's there to win from here or, dare I say, throw it away now. Shallow. Breaks on here. Ghana can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. A heavy challenge. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Two added minutes has been indicated. Shallow. They are right into last chance territory. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Ghana will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset. That's it for...